Hello there, Dr. James Petrick, Upper Cervical Chiropractor in Rancho Bernardo, California. Welcome to our vintage video series where it is always your season for better posture, mobility, energy, clarity, and freedom of stress through the power of upper cervical chiropractic. Today we are here at Callaway Vineyard and Winery, and I first want to start out by talking about something that made me gag that made me literally sick to my stomach a couple of days ago. Now, if you know me at all, you might know that I, I like football. And um, there, I didn't see the game, but on Thursday night, there was a game between the Cleveland Browns and the Pittsburgh Steelers. And something nauseating happened. It made me want to gag. Here's what happened. The defensive lineman for the Cleveland Browns, pictured in the orange helmet, sacked the quarterback. That wasn't enough. He proceeded to pull his helmet off and you can see there the direction he's pulling it up and of course back and from the left to the right across your screen here how much strain and pressure that must be putting on his neck it doesn't take an upper cervical chiropractor to realize that well that wasn't enough apparently he then takes said quarterback's helmet and proceeds to start beating him over the head with his helmet on TV before millions of people, the only game played on Thursday evening. Now, if you like football or you don't like football, even if you do like football, you know that that's way over the line, that's totally despicable, it's nauseating, probably makes you sick to your stomach to see something like that play out, especially if you have kids that are watching the game around you. And today, however, I don't wanna talk about football, I wanna talk about the gag reflex immune function and the brainstem. Now you know that I talk all the time about all the different neurological connections from the brainstem controlling literally at the speed of sound 27 different important bodily functions and I usually spend my time talking about the feeding into the cerebellum and how that affects our amygdala, hippocampus, hypothalamus, vestibular nucleus which is how we get the posture, mobility, energy, clarity, and freedom of stress. But today, I want to talk about something just a little bit farther up the food chain. We're moving from that little blue line at the cerebellum a little bit higher up to something called the nucleus intermedius. Now, what I want you to understand, we could talk about case studies, and those are all very interesting, but let's just, the sheer anatomy and physiology here of what we're dealing with, the power of the upper cervical atlas or C1 adjustment or correction and how that feeds directly into our ability to swallow and have a proper airway. So if you know anybody with sleep apnea or who snores a lot, um, going up there a little bit farther, the muscles of the soft palate, larynx and pharynx, there's a direct connection between people who have an absent gag reflex, which is like when you go to the medical doctor, they take that popsicle stick and stick it in the back of your throat, and it's supposed to cause you to uh, I might have to edit that out. I don't know how gross that sounded. But that's the gag reflex. So if that is absent at all, because you should have a healthy gag reflex, it's important for your survival um, to prevent choking, then there's a there's a, there's a direct correlation between a poor gag reflex and lack of normal immune function. Check this out in the upper left. There's another relay station, the nucleus tractus solitaris, going directly into our uh, macrophage level and our white blood cells and kind of how these things are coordinated and how they work. But simply know, there's not going to be a quiz on all these big words on Friday, but simply know that if you know anybody who has poor immune function and a sleeping problem, they snore a lot, or poor immune function and lack of a normal gag reflex, right? I'm not, don't cause an accident or anything, but you know, just do a little test even on yourself. You should have a um, type of response if you, um, you know, temporarily, you know, deep compress the back of your tongue. Simply know that there is a profound connection with the brainstem, normal function of the brainstem, 
which here of course all we're doing is one thing and one thing very well freeing up the nerve interference at the brainstem level stimulating the nerves to heal from the top all the way into the bottom thanks for watching our vintage video series today